Welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. It is uh, Sunday, November 6, and I'm here with Raytha Stoddard from Starting Point here in North Conway in the Carroll County, Mount Washington Valley. Raytha, how are you this morning? I'm well. Thank you. And uh, so we're going to talk about a lot of stuff this morning in the, in the yeah, short right. time we have here. <laughs> um, so let's give an introduction to what Starting Point is for somebody who might not know. Okay. I think most people know our, our services for the shelter and the crisis line. And we have a beautiful shelter with a capacity of, of 16 um, women and children at the shelter. It's almost always full, always at capacity. And um, we have a 24-7 hotline and we um, have volunteers and staff, so providing services, you know, 24-7. And, um, and then through those calls, we end up with uh, a num providing a number of different services, court advocacy, um, the, the rate of, of a victim getting a um, restraining order goes way up when they use an agency like ours, mm -hmm. um, hospital accompaniment, and um, a lot of personal advocacy, we also provide prevention um, curriculum for the schools, and we go into the schools and, and work with kids and teachers. Professional trainings, we also do lots of outreach. We have a lot of program partners, so in the middle of the night when we get a call, sometimes it's from the police, and they are on scene, and we're able to talk directly with a victim right then and there, which really shortens the time for them to get help because we're, imagine, we're yeah. right there and then. So. And, uh, and we were talking briefly before that uh, that there are facilities all throughout the whole country for this for uh, for victims of abuse and and I think that's an amazing thing I think yeah. that's a uh, I, it, we were talking before hard hard, hard to use the right adjective right. <laughs> um, but the fact that these resources are there and we've got such a strong resource here in the Mount Washington right. Valley and we've been here for 35 years which um, seems like a long time for um, my mom was one of the first court advocates so I sort of remember the when it started but. Um, there was domestic violence and sexual assault long before we started right. working for victims. So it started in somebody's home with a landline and um, just word of mouth. And that has grown and changed the, with the awareness so that throughout the county there's 12 of us and we all are members of a coalition. So we are, we're collective in a way that really is collaborative and helps us to you know, move people through the intervention, through the crisis, and into some normalizing of their life. And, you know, the fact that, that they know there's someone there for them. Um, they're not in it by themselves. No. They've got the support. And you've got a big support network. And you have a yeah. lot of th things that you do. You were saying here earlier that there's a lot more that Starting Point does. There's a lot more to it. We, we work, of course, in the crisis mode a lot. There's a lot of intervention work that we do. But we also work with families. We, we work with secondary victims, so parents and um, partners, children, um, adult children. Um, we work with DCYF. We have a partnership with them. We work with the police. We work with the hospitals. Uh, we work with um, mental health. So we have a lot of partnerships, and we provide trainings for them and referrals and connectedness so that we can really um, widen the scope of awareness and narrow the incident is what we're what we're trying to do right here. and as you said people can can contact you at any time and exactly. it doesn't mean that something is then going to be in motion I mean if people want to find out some information really kind of start yeah. the process you know you're not suddenly opening up a dossier and you know everything is going to fall apart you're providing a source a yes. resource for and them. our all of our work is confidential we have a very high level of confidentiality and privilege in the work that we do as advocates and so and people can be they can call anonymously and just get some some help and right. some tips and we really encourage that for friends sometimes what seems like the best advice just leave is actually can be the most lethal advice um, I hear that a lot why does she stay and there's a hundred good reasons. And I'll tell you one most important one is that 85% of our domestic homicides occur when somebody is leaving. Mm -hmm. So the best advice, you should just leave and I'll help you do that, is great advice if, if it's safe and that's what the person wants. Right. A lot of the work that we do is providing safety plans to stay because sometimes there is a better reason to stay than to leave. And one of them might be because they're being threatened to be to be killed if they leave. Right. They might lose their children. They don't have the financial support. So 
it's best if, if you have a friend that's going through that, give us a call. It's best for us to help that person make a specific safety plan for them rather than to just give some broad advice. Right, because it's going to be individual. Absolutely. It's, it's such a complex issue. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. Um, I mean, like you say, you're, you're constantly getting calls. It's one of those, it's very active. Yes. Um, but again, I just look at it from the perspective is that I'm so glad that we have this um, the service here in the Mount Washington right. Valley. It makes for a better community. It, it really does because, again, we're, we're providing services that support our partners like the police and the hospitals and mental health services. So we're helping them help the, the victim yeah. or the survivor. And, and, and that's another piece is that we do do a lot of the intervention work and the crisis work. We're also working long after that. We're, we're still there. Once the police have done their investigation and we've been through the court systems and they've, you know, had all of the other partnerships, starting point's still there long after. And we get calls many years later. I'm still just coping with this one piece that I just need to talk to somebody about. Yeah. Um, and, and also helping with um, stabilizing their life after the trauma. PTSD is huge. It's in depression and addiction. All the things that may be attached to it um, are, are huge to overcome. And, and we're trauma-informed, so we recognize what those needs are and how to best get referrals and, and work with people. Yep. So and you had, you had mentioned um, like literally calling you. Yeah. Um, or emailing you, getting directly in touch with you. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about eight minutes. I could talk for 80 <laughs> hours uh, about a lot of topics, but particularly this one. Um, so I welcome anybody to call me at 447-2494. That's the office. We're there from 830 to 4. And we uh, have a hotline for, um, um, it's not just for a crisis. If somebody's head is running in the middle of the night and they just need someone to talk to, yeah. that's, that's the number to call. But also they can reach me at director at startingpointnh.org, and I'm happy to talk more about it. We are always looking for volunteers. Um, it takes a huge commitment for to do direct service work, so mm -hmm. it's a 30-hour training for anybody who wants to do direct service work. It's great on a resume if you're if you're working into social services. Right. But we also have lots of opportunity for um, volunteers to help us with events and programs that we're working towards, trans transitional housing, work readiness programs. They can call, and the, that's the Friends of Starting Point. And then, of course, we um, have a board that uh, oftentimes is recruiting for board members. Right. Lots of ways to participate. So call, and I'll, I'll help you figure it out. <laughs> All righty. Now, do you have a website? Is there a Starting we Point do. website? Startingpointnh.org. Um, oh, OK. Yeah. That, that and we also have a, yes. a Facebook <laughs> page that has a lot of current events on it and a lot of affirmative messages and, and maybe the deeper um, content of, of why this is so such a complex issue yeah so that we 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 get a lot of messages out that way because i just want to say this is not a charitable organization we're a, a social justice um, work is what we do we're fighting for basic human rights to mm -hmm. be restored to our victims so and the federal government recognizes that and, and funds a lot of our programs um, a lot of our intervention and some of our prevention programs but we're still having to fundraise for that next level, getting through the, the, the crisis into some transition. Housing is a hard thing for right. us here in Carroll County anyways. And then with many of the barriers that come with trauma, it makes it even more difficult. So we, we have a transitional housing program and work readiness program and uh, support groups. So we're, we're really trying to get to that next place. Right. So I think uh, I kind of summing it up, there there's so much that Starting Point does to support, um, I don't want to, I don't want to just say victims, everybody, just everybody, support our community. Support our community. Yeah. Cause um, it's good attitudes that we're, yeah. that we're representing. Oppression is not okay. Um, and we don't tolerate that in our community. So that's the bottom line for us. And, and there's lots of ways that, 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 that makes us a healthier community. Right. So if anybody has questions, definitely get in touch Please. with you. Whether, like we say, it's a broad range of, uh, of questions and, um, services that you provide yeah. and not just the big service right. so to speak but but so much that you provide for the Mount Washington Valley and Carroll County yeah. and we are happy to provide it so well thank you so much thank for you. coming by today uh, and again if you uh, want to check out the website it is uh, startingpointnh.org uh, 
Um, and then, as you said, 447. Um, 2494, 447, 2494. And you can ask for Raytha if you have more questions, um, you, as, um, if you're calling as a victim survivor or um, as a family member, you can talk to anybody that answers the phone. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for coming down today. Thank you. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.